If you want a compact executive car, but fancy something that isn't German, then the Volvo S60 is an obvious choice. For instance, there's lots of space back here, really. I'll just shuffle over to show you. Decent knee room, and even if I'm sitting up dead straight, my head isn't touching the roof, and it would be on some of the Volvo's rivals. Also, fold down rear seats are standard across the range, and check this feature out. If I pull these levers here, I can fold down the front seat so I could carry a surfboard if I had a surfboard. There are some nice features here in the front too. We've got Volvo stylish trademark floating center console which houses all the major controls. And the key buttons, they're all very big so that you can operate them while wearing a glove which is handy in freezing Sweden. Although in the UK it means that they're easy to locate while you're driving along. I like the parking permit holder which is nice and handy electronic barking brake as well, and there's lots of decent cubbies dotted around the cabin. Volvos are synonymous with safety, and you can get the S60 with a clever piece of kit which can spot if there's a pedestrian in the road, and it will automatically brake the car to stop you hitting them at speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. To show you how it works, I'm gonna to have to ask my cameraman to just go, well, stand in the road. Right then, you can also see this from the point of view of my very brave, or very stupid, cameraman. Now if I do nothing, apparently the car will send a warning, and then if I still do nothing, it should break. So let's hope it does. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, it worked, otherwise this video would be over rather quickly. As well as safety, Volvos are also famous for being really comfortable, and the S60 is no exception. I mean, it's really quiet, it's really refined, and these seats, they're almost as comfy as those in my lounge. But what you don't expect from a Volvo is for it to be engaging to drive, but the S60 is the most dynamic Volvo ever. I mean, it goes around corners really well, there's loads of grip, it doesn't roll about at all, and the steering, it's very sharp. However, that brings me onto the car's downsides because it still feels very numb. And ultimately, the S60 isn't as much fun or a sporty feeling as a BMW 3 Series. Another thing is that while the suspension is quite compliant and soft, is that when you're on a rough road, it does start to jiggle about a bit, it doesn't seem to settle. And I'm also gonna have a moan about the fact that while the cabin is well built and most of it is stylish, the top half of the dash a bit old-fashioned. And if you follow me to the back, I'll show you another potential problem. Because the boot isn't as big as on an Audi A4, and it's a bit of an awkward shape as well. And then if you're the kind of person who thinks image is important, there's no getting away from the fact that a Volvo is not quite as desirable as a Mercedes. And as a result, the S60 probably won't hold its value quite as well as a C-Class. That said, it's quite a bit cheaper to buy in the first place. And overall, it really is a credible alternative to the Germans.